Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meadsy69, and we are back with the Scorpion G, the tank everybody has been waiting for. And oh my god, what a tank this is! This tank is actually amazing. Now, the DPM we have 2848. Not bad DPM, very good DPM in fact. The J Panther and the WZ120 is just above it. Um, penetration 246 uh, alpha, it has a 460 alpha gun. Rate of fire 6.19 and that gives it a 9.69 second reload. It does have the 120 mil, 128 millimeter uh, caliber gun. And the aim time is very good as well at 1.72. Gun depression 6 degrees with a gun elevation of 14. And it has very nice speed at 55 kilometers an hour. Now, the downfall of this tank, which everybody knows, is the armor. The armor is literally almost as bad as the RHM Borzik. 30, 16, and 20, and your turret is 15, 15, 15. So your turret is actually worse than the RHM. Um, so everybody, literally everybody, tier 7, tier 8, anybody, tier 9, should be shooting you with HE, regardless of what tank they are in. Everybody should be shooting you with HE. Now... We've this first battle we have four battles. This first battle we have sat at the back, and there's two ways there's a few ways that you can actually play this tank. One, pretty much like a Borzik, sit sat at the back, sniping, um, trying to do damage, or you can support your your, your team. And I, how I mean that is you could either go with your mediums because it's a fast tank. You can get there pretty quickly. Uh, support your mediums with your massive, massive, lovely gun. Uh, but I'd recommend you sort of sit behind the mediums, not like with them. Support them, go with them, support them. But the main thing is just don't get shot. Do not get shot because you're just going to get absolutely deleted. And... This battle, you see, we have sat at the back, and we are losing. We are three tanks down. The enemy are two tanks down. Um, we're going to take out the Indian Panther, but our VK4502, he did a great job, but he is now uh, gone. T28 prop is now gone, so it leaves three on three. And this is the sort of time that you can push in. If you've saved your hit points, you can push in. You could deal damage to the enemy uh, because you can do 500 to 575 damage. So I definitely would recommend saving those hit points until it comes down to battles like this. And because we saved our hit points, we was able to push in when we did. And we, we've already cleared three tanks. And this now is going to be our fourth kill. And we didn't really do much. But we still finished on 3.1k damage. Uh, we get the ace because it's easy. No one's playing it. And it get we get 67,000 credits. 1,082 uh, XP. So not a bad battle. And we're going to see the exact same thing here. So we are going to push Black Goldville. We are going to go and push uh, on A. And luckily for us, it was only me and this cheery that comes towards A. And nobody else. So the rest of our team go towards C. But luckily for us, the whole of the enemy also go towards C. Now, if they was going to come up towards A, me and this cheery will have no chance. We've both literally got no armor between us. And we would definitely lose the battle. But as it happens, the enemy all go towards C. Which means I can now snipe. We've got some shots. We get a shot into the KV-3. Uh, we're going to get another shot in. But just as we had nothing, he becomes spotted. And we take him down to a one shot. Now, this next shot is really, really stupid. There's like four tanks, five tanks with the KV-3. All sitting in that one little area. And we miss all of them. We just shoot hoping to get one of them. And we miss all of them. 
but KV3 has now become spotted and we can take him out and we've done 1200 damage and we have not been spotted. That will change now because this Comet decides to push around. We do get a shot into the back of him and we are now spotted. So we do need to be careful, but to be honest, no one is looking at us. So even though we're spotted, no one wants to focus us because all our team are in front of them. So they're going to focus the tanks that are in front of them. Now the Comet, I get a shot just before the Tiger can take him out, which does make us spotted. Now the SU-152 is going to turn, which means I've got a backup. I do want to shoot him, but we do miss. But he also misses his shot. So already we haven't taken any damage whatsoever. We've got two kills and we've done 2,000 damage. Uh, the enemy are two tanks down. Not too bad. There's a couple of low hit point tanks. They have got two caps. So now's the time we can push in. We can push in, we can get behind them while our heavies are in front of them, and we can deal some damage. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to poke around, we're going to come around the corner, but as we get there, there is only three tanks left alive. Uh, SU-152 is a one-shot, T-54 lightweight is a one-shot, so we're going to take him out first, leaving just the IS-3 and the SU-152 who will get taken out also very soon. But he is going to kill the AMX 1375 before he goes. We get a shot into the IS-3. The issue is just about to die. Now, we've taken all the caps. So we've taken C, we've capped A and we've capped B. Now the IS-3 is going to come around. He, not much he can do really. 477 damage with the HE. And this is what I mean. Everyone's going to be shooting you with HE. And that's almost half of our damage gone. And now everyone's going to bounce on this IS-3, which is perfect for me because it allows me to reload and get the fourth kill in. So very easy battle, 3.7k uh, damage, and we make 87,000 credits. So very nice credit earner, um, and it's just an amazing tank. And again, we're going to see the same on this next battle. So what I decide, the enemy have got two light tanks and one medium. We've got only one light tank and one medium. So I'm going to sit at the back. I'm assuming they are going to go towards C. But most of our team head towards A. And I'm hoping at least there is some tanks heading towards C area. Um, but the enemy start capping C. Now, I get very unfortunate here. No one is spotted. I was hoping the SP-1C will spot something. So I take a blind shot. And just as I take a blind shot, the Panther comes available. And I'm on a reload, so there's nothing I can do except for just look at the side of his tank, wishing that I had reloaded. And I'm not going to get any shot in, so I'm not going to make a move yet. We know that there are a few tanks around this area. Now, this AMX AC is taken, clearing out T23 E3, and as he cleans him out, he's going to put a comment, GG. You're going to eat your own words, Sunshine, because it will be a GG. Uh, so we're still going to wait. We're not spotted. So we're going to wait. We know there is a couple of tanks coming around. Now, I want to support the two tanks that are here. Uh, and I miss the, the twist. I miss the uh, M41 Bulldog, uh, which is a shame because I could have done with hitting him. But we switch to HE and we do 633 damage. And this is where I mean, if I would have cleared him up, I could have saved our J Panther. But we do manage to take him out. Now I am on the run and we get a nasty shot of 644 into us, into us from the AMX. Now I am, I'm running. I don't want to be there. I want to be as far as way as possible from that tank because he's just HE'd me once and I'm a one shot to him. So you can potentially get shot twice and that is game over um so we're going to run the enemy have got two caps so we do need to clear a cap now the sp1c is uh, poked around we're going to get a stupid he shot at 240 into the side of him but our is takes him out so that's three tanks down to the enemy two tanks down to us but they have caught two bases so our vk100 uh, one is going to head towards b uh, our SP-1C is now dead, so it's four against four. The enemy are on 770 hit points, 800 hit points. Our T-29 is now gone. 
So we need to do something and we need to do it quick. So they are, we are getting B. I've now come to the side and we do a massive high roll into the Tiger 1. 575 damage, which was exactly what I needed because we need to take him out. However, he does get a shot into me, but I can get one more shot into him before our tank I think it's the VK can clear him just before he comes around that corner, which helps us out because we've now got two bases. The enemy are on nearly 870 hit points, so I now need to get this cap. This is vital, and this is a match winner for me, um, or for us. So they are nearly 900 hit points, and that was a great shot. An on-the-move shot against the IS, and it pens him like butter. And I'm now capping the C, which means the enemy's cap points are going to stop at 905. And it means we've got three cap points, so our supremacy points are going to go up very, very quickly. Now, I need to clear the IS-3. He's going to get shot once. It puts him down to a one-shot. I can clear him. And now we have overtaken them. Or we did overtake them, but our VK is now dead. He did a very great job, but we still got three caps, so... We are going to clear the Panther, and unluckily, we can't make it behind the Rock in time. He does clean us up, but we've got three cap points. This IS just needs to hold off for a little bit longer, and there we go. We win the battle on Supremacy points. GG AMX, GG. Um, but he did very well, to be fair, and we still finished that battle on 3.4k damage, 84,000 credits, and see... The Amex did a good job, but unfortunately, Supremacy got the better of him and he loses when he could have easily, easily won. Now, last up but not least, this is the best battle I've had in this tank since I have been playing it. And it's fantastic. So we have one medium. The enemy has one medium. So we decide the T-54 on my team is going to push C. So I decide to go with him. Now, our team are capping A, the enemy are capping B. There's already a few tanks that has been spotted. So we push around, and this battle almost goes, like, absolutely perfect for me. And so you've seen how this tank is against Tier 7 and Tier 8. This tank is against Tier 9. So we need to play extra, extra careful, because Tier 9 have got some big guns. Now, that shot was just... Mwah. Straight in through the smallest gap in the wall, and we penetrate the Yag Tiger. And we do exactly the same with the E75, and we're still not spotted. However, the enemy have got B, they are now taking A off us. So I'm gonna try and get around to see if we can get around the back of them because we need to do something because they are gonna get overrun. Uh, very very quickly we've got two tanks down already the enemy have no tanks down and we get the side or the rear of the tiger too so we get one shot into him and we're going to relocate instead of going towards him because there's like five tanks around there we're going to try and go the long way around and get behind them and we spot or we don't spot but the amx and there is a t28 uh, prototype so my team are now sitting in front of them so we're going to get behind them, and we're going to get a shot into the rear of the AMX. We should have used HE there, but I don't know why I didn't. Uh, we get one shot into him, and he's now going to turn, and he's going to focus me. So as long as I don't get shot from him, uh, we get a track shot, which means we take no damage. This tank has absolutely no armor, so the only way you're going to bounce a shot is if it goes into your tracks, and that's exactly what happened so we're going to take out the amx we it's now four against four the enemy have got two caps and they have 720 supremacy points but we get the rear of the t28 we shoot them for a whopping 600 damage with the he and we're going to reload and we're going to do it all again so we take him out now leaving three tanks against two so there is the e75 and the persian kv4 on our shot is near enough a one shot uh, we get the front of the E75, who doesn't even do 300 damage. Um, and we get a nice shot into him, with AP into his bottom plate. Now, that is how good this tank is. Now, we get the side of the Persian. Our KV4 decides he wants to push me. He doesn't really care. Unluckily for him, he uh, didn't really work. And we managed to take 
out the Persian just now leaving the E75. So we're going to get one last remaining shot into him. Uh, 940 points the enemy had. So it was very, very, very close. We bounced 500 damage that battle. And uh, we finish on the ace. We get 5.2k damage or 5.3k damage. And we earn a massive... 134,000 credits. That is massive. There's no missions in that. That is just what we've earned playing this battle. 1,533 XP. Now, that battle I really did enjoy, and it made me love the tank as more than I already did. Now, the problem with this tank, it is, it is now, by the time this video released, uh, is released, the tank is released, and you will see that the tank is only available in crates. Now, a tank that everybody's been waiting for for so long comes in crates. So unfortunately, I won't be buying this tank because it is in crates. I might try one or two, but that will be it. So unfortunately, it is crates. But if you do manage to get hold of this, you will love this tank. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all soon. How'd you get so far?